What's up YouTube? It's Jack, yours truly. Today I'm going to talk about something that caught my eye on Twitter recently. It's actually something that caught my eye years back. It is Rolling Stone's definitive list of the 100 greatest singers of all time that was compiled in 2008. I discovered it about 2013-ish and three days ago the list resurfaced on Twitter and it was trending and a lot of people were unhappy with the list because they were unhappy because their favourite singers weren't high enough or weren't on it and everyone was angry about it, a little triggered. I mean, seriously though? I mean, an article that is 11 years old. Now, the Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Singers of All Time it was compiled in 2008 and I discovered it years back. And I saw this list, I'm like, oh wow, have Rolling Stone updated a new list? But no, I noticed the numbers and singers, the same as 2008. And people think it's new. It's just, what is so weird about the internet is that something from years and years ago can resurface and will be deemed controversial. Whether it's um, dodgy, edgy jokes, not something that isn't too, something that's quite offensive. But in this case, it's a definitive list. That is quite justifiable, that's quite justified in my opinion because who's number one on the 100 greatest singers of all time? Rolling Stone, that was published in 2008. Aretha Franklin, that makes it justified enough that the Queen of Soul, and one of the most, in no, the most influential singer to grace the earth is number one of Rolling Stone's 100 greatest singers of all time. I mean, can't people give that credit enough instead of throwing a hissy fix us favourite all-time singer weren't high enough. I mean, come on. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, show respect for Aretha Franklin, be number one. I mean, the whole top five, because I remember reading the list years back, in 2013, reading Aretha Franklin number one. I'm like, rightly so. Back then, she was still alive. Number two was Ray Charles. Three, Elvis Presley. Four was Sam Cooke. And number five was, oh, number five, it was John Lennon. That is fantastic top five. Now, between those five singers, I'm only a major fan of one, which is Aretha Franklin. The other four, I enjoy listening, but I'm not big fans, but I've always respected their legacies. But reading the list back six years ago, I did feel that several singers were too low, like Whitney Houston at 34, like, are you serial? And, Jeff Buckley at 39, and Paddy LaBelle, just 95? Really? I'm sure if Rolling Stone did, I'm sure if Rolling Stone did a re-ranking of the 100 greatest singers of all time, I'm sure singers who died in the last 10 years, like Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Prince, and Chuck Berry would be higher. Hmm. So that's what's this week's hottest Twitter topic for me. People are unleashing their anger way too much, in my opinion. Jack Walker, peace out.